Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to my channel, Simply Alicia A, and I am so excited to be here again today, you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I missed you all, I missed all of my subscribers, you guys are so just OMG awesome, okay, <laughs> so, they like I said, we have a plant haul coming up, and all of the babies that I have are from a couple of babies today are from the uh, some of them are from the come with me some of them are from just before the come with me that I did at Sunnyside um, during the haul uh, not the haul during the um, the 1,000 subscriber contest I've been you know this has been about a week or so I believe you guys refresh my memory it's been about a week but on top of that I have read all of you all's comments oh my goodness you guys are just my subscribers you guys are just awesome some of you guys have me cracking up okay I mean I literally burst out laughing like at some of the comments because you guys some of you guys sound just like me like this one person said oh my goodness I will so go broke in that place I'm like yes yes you know we are here we are here <laughs> other people are like oh my gosh I would so love to be there Oh my gosh, some of my regular subscribers, you guys are just awesome. You make me feel so special. Like I say all the time, I read all of your comments. And um, even if I don't get back to every single person, just know when that heart is on there, that means I read it and I hear you and it's coming directly from me. So I see you, I recognize you, and I thank every single last one of you. So on that note, let's get started with the plant haul. So the new babies that I got you guys, they're not in any particular order because some of these places, like I said, it's been about a week or so. So some of these places, I can't remember exactly where I got them from, but some of them I will remember and I'll let you know, okay? So let's first start off with OMG. I know exactly where this baby came from because I just got this baby maybe yesterday. I want to say yesterday, which was Friday. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, first of all, she came from Bachman's. Okay, this came from Bachman's, and she's actually sitting on the um, in the area where I have to do another uh, plant tour. But you guys remember my first plant tour? She's sitting over there in the nurses' nurses' station, and she's getting acclimated to the house, basically. So this is you guys. I never knew. I never knew this existed. I just I was just happened to walk it through Bachman's and I found this. I almost flipped out, you guys. Look at this. This is a Monstera, but it says a Monstera Minima, 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 whatever. It's a Monstera. Oh, hello. So, anyways, let me calm down. Yes. Look at this, you guys. A mini monst a Monstera Minima. Look at this. And it had so many to choose from, but I chose to get this one. Look at the new growth coming in and there and some more new babies here. So if anybody has, I'm gonna Google on this, you guys, but if any I had to help this one open up. But if anyone has any information on what this is, or if anyone has any experience with this, please put it down in the comments and let me know what your care tips are, how you take care of it, and what's the best way I can take care of my new precious. So, and then I'm gonna have a fun time coming up with the name. So, <laughs> yes, I'm super excited. So let's move the on. Next to one, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is actually one of my uh, wish list babies. <laughs> I'm super excited to have this one. I've been stalking this for a while. I've seen a few people with it, but only I know plant, uh, I love Julian. She has one. And I think Nick, the Nick guy, forget his name, his last name. I, I think, I could be wrong though. I think he has one. I've seen only a few YouTubers with these. But I went back to Floor, the plant shop, the first, the second, whichever come with me I started this, this season. Um, that was in St. Paul, you guys. And guess what I got? Look at this. I got a moss ball, you guys. Look at it. Unfortunately, it's floating right now, and I Googled that and to see what was going on with my little one here, and they said maybe it's because a air bubble has been trapped inside, so I can just go in there and gently squeeze the little air bubble out. So I think I'm going to do that, but not right now. I've already had to rinse them off because I think when I put him in here, some kind of brown stuff got on him or it was in the jar already or something. So I had to rinse him off and redo his water and stuff. So hopefully this doesn't mess with him. But isn't it cute? This came from Fleur. I paid $9 for him, you guys. And I want to go back and get him a buddy. 
So on that note, I'm going to try to figure out a name for this little one. I'm thinking Fred. I don't know why. He reminds me of a Fred or maybe a Jack or something. I don't know what do you guys think. Fred, Jack, I don't know. So let's do let's do this. Let's come up with um let's do like a a, a thing for for this little one here. If you can come up with a name for him and whoever has the same if whoever has the most votes or whatever, we'll figure this out. Let's name the moss ball. <laughs> so whatever name you guys can think up with and whoever has the most common name, I will pick that name. So we're gonna figure out who that is. So I also look you guys when I went to floor, I also the shop owner, he gave me a blessing, you guys. Look at this. Well, not this one, because this one's dying all. Oh, but he had some type of beautiful philodendron, I believe, in there. I don't know the name of it. Not this one, either. I don't know the name of it. This is my Monstera that broke off of Andrew. I am so devastated, you guys. That's another video, long story. But look at this, you guys. He gave me some clippings. Look at this. I got some clippings. Oh my gosh, so if anyone knows what this is, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a philodendron. But do you know the name of it, the, the, the species of it? But I don't know, but she's so, oh, I'm super excited. So can't wait for them to grow some, some, some roots, <laughs> grow some roots so I can plant her up and have another baby in the family. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> let's move on to the next. Nice. So this one here, look at it. I went back to Westdale Floral because I went out back out to Tonkadale and I got some more babies because I went to get the the prize for the winner for the uh, thousand subscribers. So I went back to Tonkadale, you guys, and I got some more stuff. So yeah, but on my way to Tonkadale, I found this at back at Westdale Floral. Look at this, you guys. Can someone tell me what this is? Is this an Imperial Philodendron something Imperial? Red Congo, you guys tell me what it is. Look at this, not only is she big and healthy, okay? Big and healthy, look at the new baby that came out. But look at this, she has two, you guys. She has two babies in here. One, two, two of them in here. In other places, I don't see places, uh, see them with two. Look at the price from Westdale Floral. 26, but I didn't pay 26, I paid 21. 20, how much did I pay for this? $23, I think. However much I paid for, I got 20% off of her. 20% off of her. Look at this. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So if you know what this is, please let me know and some care tips because once I know the name, then I can Google it. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Google Red Congo or Imperial Red Philodendron. I am super excited because look at the size of these leaves, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is just bigger than my head, longer, not fatter, but longer than my head. <laughs> so look at this, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And I've had her sitting outside getting as much bright light, but not direct light, but she's been getting bright light since I've gotten her. She's been doing good, you guys, she's been, she's been, she's been blessed. So oh, let's move on to the next baby. Okay guys, so the next three babies I got from Sunnyside Gardens. Okay, so when I did the come with me, these are the babies that I got from Sunnyside. So for those who were asking me, um, did I get anything? What did I purchase? I'm going to show you now. So this is what I purchased from Sunnyside Floral, you guys. Ah, sorry, Sunnyside Gardens. First the one is this one. You guys saw this one in my cart. Oh my goodness, how cute. I have no idea what this is. This reminds me of like truffles or mushrooms or something. And the third piece is actually laying over there with my other cactus baby pieces. So um, it, so it, I guess it calluses over or something. I don't know. So if you guys have any idea how to plant these, please let me know. If I can stick this part in the water and get it roots, will it rot? I don't know. I'm scared. It's laying over there. Um, when I was at Sunnyside, I saw one of the leaves laying down and it had a root coming out of it. So I know that it roots up like a succulent. But this bark tart part right here, I'm not sure. So if you guys have any um, idea or any clue as to what um, as to what this may be, um, all it just says is succulent, uh, succulent four inch. So I mean I don't know you guys. I, I don't quite know what it is. But if you have any idea, any care tips, um, how can I propagate it? Because 
this part right here, I, I want to either just stick it in dirt and let it root or stick it in water and let it root or just take all the leaves off and just let them grow roots and just have a whole bunch of new plants. I don't know. But I'm super excited because it's super cute. I just was like, this is so unique. I've never seen it before, never heard of this. So I'm going to get it. And so I got it. So <laughs> the next baby, you guys have to help me out with too because, let's see. I know it's a, uh, this one I think is this. I don't quite know what it is, you guys, but it's putting me in the mind frame of a Rip Salas. And I think someone said a drunkard's dream because it looks like beer bottles or something like that someone said. I think I heard someone say that. Am I right or am I wrong? And then, what are the care tips for this one, you guys? I'm gonna Google it and see if this is the right one. But if you have experience with this or know what this is, please feel free to let me know. It looks like it has a lot of new growth coming in on the tips here. I'm just super excited and just pleased with these plants I got from Sunnyside. These, these guys are awesome, man, and I cannot wait to go back. Oh, I have some super duper duper exciting news for my people out here in Minnesota, mainly the Minneapolis, St. Paul surrounding areas. Give me two seconds. So let me just show you the last one, and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. So here's the other baby I got from Sunnyside. What is this, you guys? Is this a Rip Salas? If it's a rib salad, I know there's hundreds of varieties, but what type? All it says is foreign succulent. What type of rib salad is this, you guys? OMG. I am so just, oh my gosh. I thought this was the cutest. What are the care tips? I've seen uh, I Love Julian with this, and she was doing like a new video with her uh, rib salad. I think that's what this is. So I don't know. I'm super excited to have it though. How cute is it? How cute is it? Okay, <laughs> so let's move so, on to the, the next two babies I got was actually, like I said, when I went back to Tonka Dale to get the string of hearts for the uh, 1,000 subscriber winners. Um, by the way, thank you for all who entered and everything. Like I said in, in the video before, we just thank you so much. We greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. So what I did was I got two more babies on top of the cute little uh, string of hearts. So this is the first baby I got. So this is just, it just says tropical, and this is from Tonka Dale Greenhouse, $7.99. I don't know what this is, you guys. Is this a Rick Rat cactus? Is this a fishbone cactus? I know it's not a Christmas or Easter or whatever type of cactus. I know it's a clipping, but what what is it? Does anyone know? Because I want to give the proper care tips for it, you guys. I want to take care of it properly. So. Do I get it in direct sunlight, no sunlight? It's been sitting out on my back balcony and it's been getting direct sunlight. I don't know what it is, but I know it's cute and I love it. And so I just need to know what it is. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then the next baby I got from um, Tonka Dale was this, you guys. Look at this. I thought this was so awesome. We already know that this is a Dracaena, right? But I seen someone, I forget what website I got this information from. But this is not just any Dracaena. Look at it. It's a twirly Dracaena or a swirl Dracaena. I don't know. A Dracaena swirl, Dracaena twirl, tornado. So I don't know. <laughs> I forget the name of it, you guys. So I know how to take care of Dracaenas. But this particular Dracaena, I just think it was so cute. I just don't know the name of it. And I totally forgot the name of it. So. Dracaena swirl or twirl or something. I thought this was so flipping cute. I said, oh no, I have to take you home because this is different from my Janet Craig Dracaena. You see, and I'm like, oh, she's, oh, look, she looked like a, a, a lily or a rose or something. So she's so, yeah, yeah, she cute, she cute. <laughs> So let's move on to that. So the next two babies, I believe, I cannot remember where I got these from. I think I got these from Walmart. Um, the first one is this, you guys. Boop. And I think by the price, yes. Looking at the price, I got these from Walmart. So look at this. Does anyone know what this is? Is this, um, is this called an Eve's Needle? Maybe I'm thinking this is an Eve's Needle. I got it, I believe it's from Walmart. Um, for $3.74. Yes, that price looks very familiar. So this could have been from Walmart. 
and um, I heard someone say a crested eaves needle but I don't think this is a crested eaves needle I think this is a regular eaves needle but I like it because look at all the growth that she has and she has three babies in her you guys she has three babies how awesome is that that is just so cute you guys oh my gosh I love it I'm in love with this cactus because it's so unique it looks like a succulent and it's it's like a succulent cactus or cactus succulent however it goes it's just adorable I love it and then the next one you guys I believe this one was from Walmart too I have it just sitting in this little thing for right now Please help me with the identification of this. I believe, I know this is a Puntia, a Puntia um, 374. Yeah, I think I got this one, this one from Walmart too. But look at this. this. Is this a Joseph's coat? Look at the variegation. It's like variegated. It's light green and dark green. Look at that. It's leaning over. It grew in a curve. Look at that. <laughs> look at the curve it made. It's like swoop. I'm like, you know I'm a sucker for oddballs, so I had to grab this one, you guys, because it's variegated, and then one of them is just leaning like this. Instead of straight up, he's like, oh, no, I'm going to grow this way. I'm like, go ahead. You're so cute. <laughs> so, oh, my God. <laughs> so, is this a variegated Joseph's coat? I'm not sure, but please let me know if you have this, whatever experience you have with it, if you know what it is, if you have an identity for it. I don't know, but... I thought it was so cute, I had to get it. I've been on this cactus kick, you guys, lately. So, oh, cactus, because I have pretty much a lot of the house plants that I have that I want, except for a few that are on my wish list. Um, but I pretty much have all of the other, all of the plants that I want, that I wanted. So I've been on this cactus kick lately. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> anyways, I have, I think I have two more left, you guys two or three more left and then we should be done oh but yes yeah, so let's move on to guys the so the next baby I got was from white bear floral my favorite place to get my succulents white bear floral shop next to su well white bear floral shop is my favorite place and now my new favorite place to get all of my succulents from is Sunnyside Gardens guys those two places if you are in those areas please check them out I don't know if Sunnyside does mail uh, does uh, online ordering but I believe white bear floral does but you guys can give those I left their information down in the links of each video give them a call and see if you guys can place orders if you want these plants speaking of that I got to talk to you guys about something else as well but anyways we'll get to that later oh my gosh look at what I got how cute I don't know what it is. Is this a African milk cactus? I'm, I, I, I think this is African milk cactus. I love these little leaves on it that she's giving me. She's giving me vibes of an apuntia. No, not an apuntia, but I know it's like a... Look, she's been growing since I got her. Look at those blooms, you guys. I'm not familiar with this. I don't know why it's this color. I don't know, but this, you guys, is so stinking cute. Look how long she is. She's got to be at least almost a foot I want to say I had a ruler almost a foot maybe but this is so cute how stinking adorable is she I don't know what it is but if you guys know please help me out and let me know so I don't know how to take care of it you guys how stinking cute oh my gosh okay so let's go to the next baby right, so the next baby I got was um, I cannot remember the place but I did say it in one of my previous videos I do apologize I cannot remember the name of the place that I got this baby from, um, but it's all, it's in South Minneapolis, and I forget the name, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but maybe I'll put it down in the comments, or if I can remember, put it across the screen, I don't remember, but look at this, I got this one, this is another outdoor succulent, um, a sedum sun sparkler lime. I believe so it's different from the other ones that I planted up but I had to put her in the um, thing because she was starting to die a little bit because her roots were hanging at the bottom so I just kind of really just went on and planted her up real quick so she's not gonna be a part of the plant with me but she is gonna be a part of the haul because she's cute look how stinking adorable she is and it's trailing and I got this on um, a discount they were selling 20% uh, off of this so I think I paid like four or five dollars not even that I don't remember how much I pay for this but how cute is this you guys sedum sun sparkler lime too stinking cute oh my gosh say hi 
<laughs> okay, so let's move on to the last. So this little cutie pie I got from Mother Earth's Garden Center. This is a place where one of my subscribers asked me if I had been there or if they suggested that I go there because I was looking for something and she said that they have it there or something like that. So um, I, I can't remember exactly who you are, but you know who you are. Thank you so much for uh, recommending, there we go, recommending that garden center because it was so cute. They had so many plants there. It was amazing, you guys. And I did talk to the people to see if they would let me do a come with me there. So I'm gonna see what they say. But that place is awesome, you guys. And I was able to get one of these cute little babies and I'm so excited because she's so cute. <laughs> so here's the baby that I got. <laughs> so this, you guys, look at this. This is actually a Chinese evergreen plant, a different version of it, an aglonemia. Aglonemia. Yes, aglonema. Agla, aglonomy, girl, aglonema, aglonema, aglonema. Mm. Y'all see what that is right there? <laughs> but yes, look at this. Not only she, not only is she adorable, and I forget the exactly particular aglonemia she is, but look at this. She has one two three babies in her and she's growing another baby right here on the side how stinking awesome is that you guys look at that she's full she's a different version agalonemia than my other big big one that i have right there i am so excited i'm grateful you guys how pretty is she? I just love this plant already because not only of the markings on the plant, the uh, variegation or the design, but basically the straight up growth, how her, her leaves grow straight up, it just, it just satisfies me like, oh my God, just satisfies my little plant heart. Oh, she's just a cute little bundle of joy. I love this plant, oh my gosh. And if I can get about three or four more of these, I would and just sit them around the house in little space, in little places just to fill up places. Because it's just so cute and cozy and just cuddly, oh my gosh. So shout out to um, um, Mother Earth. <laughs> shout out to Mother Earth's Garden Center. This place is awesome, oh my gosh. So let's move on to the next baby. Hey you guys, so the very last baby of the bunch today is actually a plant that I got from Lowe's because like I said, I've been going searching and looking for this particular wish list plant that I have. It's called the Cebu Blue Pothos. I've been searching like a mad person for this plant and um, I didn't find it there because I seen it last year when I first started doing Come With Me's. I seen it and I'm kicking myself in the rear end right now because I didn't get it and I'm just so devastated as to how rare this plant is. I don't know if it's super, super rare, but it's really hard to get a hold of and they're super expensive like the Pink Princess Philodendron. That's another one of my wish list plants. OMG, those are super expensive too. So anyways, <laughs> I've been searching. I know I can't find the Pink Princess one because that one, you probably have to special order that one. But the uh, Cebu Blue Pothos, oh my gosh, hello. They had it at Lowe's, and I, as a matter of fact, I think I've probably seen it in one of my come with me's um, a couple of, a few months ago, and I passed on it, like, oh, I'm so upset. But they have it, and they have it in this size planter, which is, I believe, a six inch planter. <sighs> Maybe one day, you guys. So anyways, <laughs> Um, I didn't find the Cebu Blue Pothos that day. However, I did find this little cutie, and I was so intrigued when I saw it, and I had to get it. And I did. I said, I told, I told myself, I'm going to start getting these plants if I can afford them at that time. I'm going to get them and get them and take them home instead of walking away from them and saying, Oh, I'll get it next time. No, mm -mm. these are rare, far few in between plants, and I'm not going to keep walking away from these plants because I want them and I see them. And I'm like, Oh my God, they're unique. So if it's within my budget, I'm getting it from now on. So, yes. Anyways, <laughs> so this last baby I got from Lowe's and this is this. 
the dog tail cactus, you guys. Now, I have it sitting in this little planter, but this, look at that. This is what it looks like, you guys. So I guess it's supposed to be in the shape of a dog tail. How stinking adorable is this? And it's a cactus. I've been on this cactus trip, you guys, so OMG. Look at the price for this six inch, 6.6 six inch dog tail cactus. Only $10.98, so about 11, almost $12 with tax. How stinking cute. Look at all the babies on this thing, you guys. Look at all the babies. I don't even know how to take care of this. I don't even know what to do. So in my next video, I'm gonna do a cactus video, and I'm going to ask for help on how to take care of all of my cacti, because I have a lot of different cacti babies, and I wanna know how to take care of them. So I'm gonna put him back in his little thing for right now. But look at that, how cute is that? He's just sitting in there for right now. I haven't watered it since I got it, and I'm not going to do that until I Google on how to take care of him. But how cute is this? Like. I have to come up with a name for him, and I'm thinking Rufus. Is that a cute dog name, Rufus? I don't know. <laughs> but he has to have a name, too, you guys. So let's find a name for him, too. Sully? I don't know. What do you guys think? Sully? Oh, Sully looks kind of cute. That seems kind of nice. Sully or Rufus? I don't know. Let's pick between those two names. Sully or Rufus for my dog tail cactus. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's it for the plant babies for today. All right, all of my plant friends and family, I just want to thank you all so much as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for supporting our channel. We are so grateful and truly humble for you guys watching us and supporting us and your comments and, and people just... You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate you. I don't take any of you for granted. I thank you all so, so much. Thank you. So that is all for today. The announcement that I have, the reason why it's only for, not only, but for people who are close in the region, Sunnyside Gardens, right? Sunnyside, yes, Sunnyside Gardens. You guys, whew, they are having a plant swap, okay? I'm trying not to get up and run around this room and act like a mad crazy person. <laughs> but go to SunnysideGardens.com, uh, I believe. Go to their website, you guys. I believe I placed it under their video, the Sunnyside Come With Me that I did. I placed their website and information under the video. Go there, you guys. Check them out, okay? Check them out. Sign up for, if you're local, sign up for the plant swap. I believe it's coming in September. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. So sign up. It's free. You just go to Eventbrite and reserve some the tickets that you need. It's free. And you come and you plant swap. I will be there. Lord's will, I am there. I already have some babies that I got that I'm ready to trade with. Yes. I'm just excited. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> So that was a big announcement. So, like I said, I thank you all so, so, so much for just everything that you guys have done for us, all the support, all the love that you guys have shown. We thank you so much. We are truly and honestly totally grateful. Thank you so much, you guys. If you are new to my channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and press the bell notification so that you can be notified anytime we upload anything. And as always, don't forget, you guys, that I love you and God loves you too. You guys be blessed. We will see you all in our next video. Bye.